This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at a couple fountain pen winners and a couple fountain pen losers. Recently, I've picked up a couple fountain pens that turned out to be real disappointments, and I've picked up a couple other pens that were surprisingly really great pens to use. The first one I'm going to take a look at is the Nemesine Singularity. I'd been waiting to pick up one of these for a while. First of all, because I knew they had some quality control issues just from reading the comments and reviews, um, but I'd been keeping an eye on them because I really wanted to pick up a stub nib pen, and Nemesign has the smallest stub nib that I could find, the .6, and so I'd been keeping my eye on them, and I noticed on Goulet pens that there was going to be a blue marble finish coming out and it just looked beautiful and it would say coming next month next month would roll around and it would say coming next month and it did that for a while and then finally I checked in one day and it was no longer listed on the site but they had a clear demonstrator one version with the black trim and one version with the rose gold so I got the one with the black trim the obsidian um, trim and when it came in I thought, this is the pen for me. This is such a comfortable pen. I put just a drop of ink in the converter to test how it wrote. And in fact, here was the writing sample that I did. And I was instantly in love with narrow stub nibs. And so I thought, oh, this is great. This is the pen for me. I already had a couple pens inked up, so I went ahead and used up the ink in those two. And then I filled up the converter of this one using an ink syringe. And then I propped it up on the table to let the ink work its way through the feed. And I came back about 15 minutes later, and every bit of the ink from the converter had dripped out into the cap and was dripping out on the table. And I thought, well, it's possible that there's something wrong with the converter. It's losing a seal somewhere that's allowing air in. So I took the converter out and put in an ink cartridge and propped it up to let the ink work its way through the feed again. And I came back five or ten minutes later and it had already started dripping out. So I contacted Goulet Pens and they sent me a new nib unit. And I thought, there are so many people that are saying good things about the Nemesine Singularity. I, I'm optimistic about this replacement nib. I'm, I'm sure it was just a fluke. And so I put the new nib in, put a cartridge in, dripped out just like the first one. So I contacted Goulet Pins again and asked if I could return it. They gave me a store credit said I didn't have to return the pen, so that was nice. I didn't have to pay shipping. I'll just leave that there. And so I had a store credit. So I used some of my store credit to purchase the Platinum Preppy Crystal that I had just recently seen on the website. And I've never really been interested in Platinum Preppies. I hear good things about how they write, but the previous variants just had so much branding on them. They look like disposable pens. I always liked the shape of them. I'd always thought if there weren't so much branding, I would be interested in it. So when I saw this completely clear demonstrator with very minimal branding, I thought, oh, I'm picking one up. It was $5. I went ahead and paid another $7.50 to get the converter, but I didn't have to. Um, I could have just used my ink syringe to refill the cartridge that came with it. And for some pens I do that, like my Caveco Skyline Sport that's really too small to hold a good converter. I just refill cartridges for it and it works great. But I went ahead and got the converter for this one and I'm glad I did. It holds a good amount of ink. I filled up the converter and took this with me on vacation and used it. This was the only pen I used the entire time. I used this pen and a Field Notes signature series to journal during my trip. And I never had any issues with hard starts or skipping. 
it's just a great fine nib pen. Just, I'm very pleased with it. The grip section is not quite as ergonomic as the Nemesine Singularity, but it's a nice diameter. It's pleasant to use. It's a lightweight pen. You can post it and just write forever. So I've been very happy with this pen. And in fact, I'm thinking about getting a uh, Platinum Preppy with a medium nib and maybe kind of experimenting myself with grinding it down to a kind of a more of a stub shape but and I saw I think it's on jet pens you can get a medium black platinum preppy for three dollars so you know maybe that's worth a try let me see here's and here's a well you saw a writing sample but here's another writing sample for the platinum preppy just a a nice fine nib pen happy with it Okay, and while I was on vacation, I got an email alert from Goulet Pens that the Stipula Passporto had finally come in after over a year being on the email waiting list. I got on the email waiting list for this back when I was still really into pocket pens. I'm not as into pocket pens as I once was, uh, and I'm, I've never been interested in eyedropper pens, but I heard on one of their videos that this Passporto came in a stub nib, nib variant, and it was really fine. It was a really fine stub nib, and I was looking for something to replace my uh, Nemesine Singularity stub, so I thought, well, I'll give this a try. And when it came in, when I first tried to unscrew the cap, it was really stuck, and I was afraid I was going to break something. It feels like it's supposed to be friction fit, but that it also has threads in addition to being friction fit. I don't know. It's, it's weird, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but the threads in there are just really rough and not well done. Let's see. And I was a little, a little bit disappointed in that. But the more I used it, the more I thought, well, I can get used to that. It's not going to be a quick draw pen, which is kind of a downer for a pocket pen. But, you know, if it writes good, I can get used to it. Um, when I opened it up, the threads on the section are a little bit better. There are a lot of threads, and they seem to be done a little bit better. And there is a little rubber O-ring. But I thought when I opened it up, oh, I didn't get any silicone grease. But on the filling instructions and on the, uh, oh, did I get, yeah, I've still got some ink in there that I need to clean off. On the filling instructions and on the Goulet's website, it didn't mention anything about silicone grease. And in fact, someone asked a question, do you need silicone grease for this? And they said, no, with a rubber O-ring, you shouldn't. So I put a little bit of ink in it, tightened it up, did a writing test, and I've got it right here. And I thought, oh, I like how it writes. The nib wasn't as smooth as the Singularity, but it's still very pleasant to write with. Uh, it's The line variation that you get was between a medium and I would call that an extra fine. It was just nice, pleasant to use. Uh, and I thought, well, I can I can live with the crummy threads. I went to use it. I took it out to use out in the real world, and ink had seeped through. And I thought, well, maybe I didn't just screw it tight, tighten it up enough. So I took it home, cleaned it up, re-inked it up, tightened it down as hard as I could. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but there's still just a tiny gap and between that tiny gap 
and I think this matte finish it allows ink to seep through so I don't know I I'm just not super gung-ho about um, eyedropper pens especially in a pocket pen I really don't want to take any chances I may just chalk this one up to a learning experience and set it on a shelf I've thought about returning it I don't know I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet but what I would consider a superior alternative and the best bang for your buck is the Pilot Petite One. This is a pocket pen. It's only $3.80. It uses proprietary ink cartridges, um, but you can get three ink cartridges for $1.90. That may be kind of expensive for ink, but the pen itself is only 380 so it all balances out it's a snap cap so it's a more of a quick draw pen the section is a pleasant diameter it's very similar to the platinum preppy it ooh, what I one of the things I like about it is that when you post it snaps on there pilot's just really good with the small details this when you post it, it makes a comfortable full-size pen and just like the preppy it's super light you can write with it all day um, just a, a great little alternative so these two super inexpensive pens I have just been thrilled with my two my $25 which isn't a bad deal if it wrote and my $40 eyedropper pen have just been real disappointments. My two stub nibs, so I'm still searching for a good stub nib pen. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.